Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and in today's screencast, I'm going to show you how to do a roll-up web part on your SharePoint site. This is going to be a true roll-up so that, um, for example, you can have financial information that rolls up from subsites up to the top level sites and is totaled. So in the example we have, we have a purchases list and different departments have, are going to have subsites here and each department has a purchases list and then at the top level of the site we want the purchases to roll up and be totaled so you can see the you know, totals across the board for all the departments in one place. So we start off by having a we have a list called purchases. Now this is created from a content type. So we have to have a content type at either the site collection or this, you know, this top level departments uh, level. So I created a custom content type called purchasing. Now when you do this, you don't have to create your own custom content type. Um, you can just use, you know, announcements or just one of the built in ones and be able to, you know, say roll up announcements from all the subsites, things like that. Um, for this case, I went ahead and just created a custom content type. So in this one, I have a cost category and a purchasing cost, and these are site columns that I created and put in this content type. So I created a list at my top level site, and I put that content type on the list and removed that original content type. This is a custom list, so the original one was the item content type. And so now I have this purchasing content type um, on my custom list. Save it, save this list as a template. And then I went to my subsite, my departmental site, and created the list purchases from that template that I created at the top level. So no, in, in your situation, if you have each of the different subsites is going to have to have a purchases list. Um, you don't necessarily need that list to exist at the top level site. We're going to need it to exist just to be able to create this web part. And um, even if you're not going to have any items in it, you, you, know, you can hide the list, but it still needs to be there at the top level, in my experience, uh, to be able to do this correctly. So I created a blank web part page, and I opened that web part page in SharePoint Designer, and I'm going to show you how to create this data view web part that's a roll up. I'm going to insert a data view. This is my purchases list, and again, this is at that top level department's site. Put my title in here. And then over here under content, current data source, I click on purchases and fields. And I'm going to select, I'm going to remove most of these. I'm not going to remove ID, title, modified. And then my cost category and purchasing cost, I'm going to keep those. And I'm going to keep the path so later on I can make a hyperlink. So I have these six fields. Click OK. And I can go ahead and edit the columns. I'm going to add my purchasing cost as a column, change the format of it, and then quickly add some grouping by category. Okay, there's my grouping by category, and now I'm going to do the roll up. So I need to go into split view. I'm going to do a search for data source mode in my code view. Found it, and I'm going to change list into cross list. Next thing I'm going to do is look for select command here and paste in. This web scope equals recursive webs. Now watch this. Now I have four items in my list down here. When I click down here to apply my changes, it's now going to roll up. It's rolled up those two items that I have in my subsite. So I'm going to flip back over to my site. So here's my top level departments with my four purchases in it and my human resources subsite has the two purchases in it. So we can see in SharePoint Designer that now all six of those items are in here rolled up. 
So um, if you go ahead and read my blog, I've got more information in there about how to put some subtotals in the State of View web part and also make it so that these titles are actually hyperlinks back to that individual item. So thank you for watching and now you know how to do a true roll up using a data view web part.